Let me tell you a little bit about Porto. Five years ago, when, uh, we came, when our platform came to power, we an independent platform of citizens without parties. What did we find about the city? Uh, everybody told us it's the best kept secret in Europe, uh, which is something which is fun, but it doesn't make any sense for the citizens and it doesn't any, make any sense for business. We also found that the city was a UNESCO heritage, and because of that, a lot of the city had lost inhabitants. To live in an archaeological site, as you know, is not exactly the sort of thing that you enjoy. It becomes very expensive to develop a city. Another thing we noticed is there was no branding in the city. The city was known for what? For the port wine, with a name called Port. It was named for, it was known for by the football team, FC Porto. And in English, everybody said O Porto, which even started with an, a different letter. So we did not have any, any branding. Whenever we tried to explain what Porto was, it was really difficult. Um, so what, what did we have as tools? We had this magnificent city because we have a river, we have the Dora Valley, we have the monuments, we have the sea, the beach. It's a manageable territory, safe territory, no criminality. And we thought we really have to develop tourism. And we had the luck of having a very good airport, which has won several prizes over the last years. And at the same time, this starting effect of the low-cost companies, which suddenly impacted enormously in, uh, in, in our country, especially in Southern Europe, Central Europe. People traveled to know the local costumes, or people traveled to theme parks. And suddenly we thought, actually what we are doing in the cities is importing theme parks into the city and giving people experience. That's what happened here with your World Cup. A lot of people came to Moscow and they stayed even though their team was not playing, or what happened with Portugal, that team was sent off uh, very early. So people really want to come into a, a city and they want the city to be able to give them experience in gastronomy, in wine, in history, fun, fun. What do people want? They want to visit a city which is comfortable, which includes a number of things I don't have to detail, and they want the city to be interesting. And, and then, if they like it, they will come back even when there are no events. The, the, the thing is, probably most of you agree that once you have visited the city for a certain event or for a certain exhibition, if you like it, you tend to think, I want to come back. And then you want to find another part of the city. And the, the recurring tourist is the best tourist. You know why? Because he doesn't flock in places where there are already too many people. The tourist is a sort of discoverer of the city when he comes a second time. But of course you have to feed them with different events. And what we thought is every year we have to give them different events. So we started and um, first we looked at the power boating in the river. Then we looked at the Red Bull air race on another year. Then we look at rallying on a, in the middle of the city, as you see, on another year. So we try every year to do something different. Also on the musical side, we decided to have a, a very big event, which, um, which is um, also organized with Barcelona together, which we organized in the city park. But we thought, this is, uh, people have to pay a ticket to go there. And what we thought is, we need our citizens to understand what is going on and to offer them also. Uh, some free events in the city. Events are fantastic to start micro-business because they know, at least during the days of the events, it will be like a boost, you know? It's like a rocket that starts their business. And once they start, a lot of them have been able to succeed. And now there are brands of different things in the city of Porto, which even producing tiles, uh, which has not been done for 200 years or were done in big factories. And now there are people doing it in small factories and houses, people producing uh, uh, small brands of beer or wine. And, and this is the sort of thing that defeats gentrification. Because one of the fears, of course, we have is gentrification. Every, everyone around the world is talking about gentrification. The only way is, first, to improve the daily routine of citizens and to persuade them that um, the city must be comfortable and interesting. If it's comfortable and interesting for those who visit us, it must be more comfortable and interesting for, for us, and it must bring wealth, which is actually what people generally want. Never forget that tradition through culture is what melts people together. 
And it's also what foreign people who visit us, they want to see. Otherwise, an event could just be anywhere. And, uh, um, but when you really want to base it in your city and to make sure that the people who come for the event, they come back, try always to show them a little bit of your home culture, a little bit of your traditions. Try to show them a little bit why they should come back. If they find out there is something to discover, and I think a lot of people came to Moscow this, this time, my first time, I promise you I will come back because uh, I found out there is a lot to see, which I probably only found because I'm here today. Thank you.